Hello friends. All right. I just shared a video not too long ago, <laughs> all about 75 heart. And I wanted to explain what it was in a separate video. So if you were here just for that, you could hear about it and learn about it. So today I'm going to share why I'm doing 75 hard and my experience after the first week of doing 75 hard. So I was very intrigued. I've seen a lot of girls share 75 hard on Instagram, girls that I admire, that I look up to, they're doing this and it's changing their lives. So this isn't necessarily a lose weight program. This isn't about being like necessarily strong and fit, although that's gonna happen. It's a mental toughness challenge. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll definitely be making a 75 hard playlist so you can check that out and see more about it. But it's about following these different tasks every single day for 75 days. And if you miss one, then you have to go back to um, day one. So I am on day eight as I'm filming this right now. So I've completed one full week of 75 hard. I have a lot more to go. <laughs> so um, it's a long time, but let me briefly go over what are the requirements. So it's doing an indoor workout for 45 minutes an outdoor workout, no matter the weather, uh, for 45 minutes. It's reading 10 pages of a personal development book every single day, drinking a gallon of water, taking a progress picture, following a diet of your choosing, no cheats, no alcohol. So I've heard that some tasks are harder than others for some people, but I was looking forward to being part of this to hold myself accountable because my goal is, is to read every day some personal development. I'm trying to drink a gallon of water every day. Um, I have been walking outside and enjoying that, but some days I sleep in. I do a workout indoors every day, even on Sunday. I do it every single day and I love it. So that wasn't a challenge for me. I don't take regular progress pictures every single day. Um, and I definitely was cheating on my diet and meal plan. Um, Sometimes, like, I don't even know. I like, go oh, well, there's cake, and okay, we're gonna do that. So, uh, this was gonna be a challenge, some areas more than others. Um, but what I love the idea of, and I was listening to Andy's podcast, and I can link his website down below so you can check it all out. 75 Heart is free. Um, is that he says is that this is carving out time for you in the areas that you want to develop and be stronger. And it's forcing you to take that time to develop as a human and as a better person. And that if you can take the time to develop these tasks, um, even though they may seem mundane and they may get monotonous, it's about challenging yourself to overcome them and to become part of your daily life. So I was super stoked about the idea of it. And to be honest, a little bit nervous and scared. <laughs> and so I, um, after... A few days into it, I asked online if girls wanted to join me. And if you want to join me, you definitely can um, comment down below or you can email me, madeiragreenmoments at gmail.com and we can chat more. But um, I thought this would work out really great because I'm an online health and fitness coach. So pairing this really tough challenge with the online workouts that I do every day, plus I have incredible access to or access to an incredible nutrition plan. So I'm going to do ultimate portion fix with this. Uh, I was excited and the girls in my squad, I was like, if you wanna do this, we could do it together. So a bunch of girls are doing it with me, so it's super fun. So um, I will share my my thoughts so far. Um, so far, getting in the outdoor workout has not been challenging. It is June in Florida right now. <laughs> and so the outdoor workout has not been challenging if I go before 6.30 a.m. After that, it is very, very hot, like very, very hot, humid, hot, sweaty, hot, not enjoyable. So I've been doing my workout before 6.30, going for my walk. I take my pre-workout with me. I go for a long walk. I keep a, a headphone in one ear and I listen to a podcast while I'm walking and that's been super enjoyable. Um, and then when I get back, I read 10 pages of my book and then I go right into my uh, workout from my TV. So I do a beach body workout. And then if it's not 45 minutes for the workout on the TV, then I will do um, my bike. So that's been super enjoyable. I've really, really loved all that. The progress picture I've been taking and I've been using, he has an app as well as a book and I've purchased both. I wanted to read the book 
fully to understand the program. So I read it all last week. So I definitely read more than 10 pages a day so I could get through the whole book. Um, and then the app has been instrumental. And if you are a list maker, a list checker offer like I am, if you're a planner girl, then you probably know how great that feels. So in the app, um, it will not let you go to day two until you've checked everything off. And then it asks you, do you want to share this to your social media? So after I click everything, I can share it to my stories. So I do that. And that's been really cool too, to be like, okay, I did it. Like I checked everything off. Um, so that's been really great. The app is a one-time fee. It's like $5 and then you have it forever. The book is not on Amazon. So that was frustrating because I couldn't get it like two days. It took probably three or four, whatever it was, but you order it from his website. And I read that quickly and just devoured it. I wanted to know everything there was to know about this so that I could start. So, uh, the best advice I read with him regarding this is that if you are thinking about it, don't hesitate. Don't give yourself a chance to talk yourself out of it because our brains are wired that way that we want it to be comfortable. So don't give your chance, yourself a chance to do that. Just do it. Just jump in. You can do it. You definitely can do it. Um, my meal plan is all included with the Beach Body on Demand. So I'm following that. It has the color coded containers. So I just follow that. There are treats built into that meal plan where you swap out one of your containers for a healthy treat three times a week so you don't feel deprived. Um, but he says there's no cheats, so you have to stick to that meal plan if that's what you're following, which I am. And so that's been doable um, because what it's done for me is it just takes the salt and vinegar chips off the table because they're just not part of it. <laughs> um, same thing with um, like chocolate bars. They're just not part of it. So I'll share with you some of the hard moments this first week. The first one being the movies. We went to the movie theater on Saturday and movie theater butter popcorn is not part of my meal plan. It's not part of the diet that I chose for this. Um, and I love movie theater butter popcorn. Like I really love it. And I have a hard time going to the movies and not buying it every single time we go, like I have to have it. So this was definitely a mental toughness challenge for me for sure. So we, um, the kids got it, I didn't. I brought freeze dried green beans and freeze dried edamame and homemade ranch, <laughs> thinking that would be great. I also brought Smart Sweets, which is candy sweetened by Stevia. You can get it at Target, I bought it on Amazon. It's delicious. If you're going from full on candy to that, maybe you'd notice a difference, but it will definitely hit the spot. And I got the peach rings and the gummy worms. So I had candy, the family had candy, and then I had the most disgusting vegetables of my life. When I opened these bags, I bought them from Target. I had never had them before, these freeze dried green beans and, um, oh, they're so gross. As soon as I opened the bag, my husband looked at me with this look like, what is that? And it stunk and I was like, I can't, I cannot eat this. I thought for sure I'd be fine. I probably would have been if I had brought like carrots to eat with my homemade ranch, but I didn't. I brought these thinking they'd be crunchy and similar to popcorn, they were not. I think what I'll do next time is just bring popcorn from home that's a healthier version and then I'll feel like I'm still part and still have popcorn. And I've done that before. But Smart Sweets was a huge win. Also, um, Zevia, Stevia sweetened soda. Um, is a game changer. So if you love soda, you can do that. The hard part is, is it doesn't count as your water. So you're going to have to drink more <laughs> beyond just the Zevia. And a gallon of water is no joke if you're not used to drinking a gallon of water. So I've done challenges before where I've um, tried to drink a gallon of water a day and I've done it. Um, but this is making it non-negotiable because I can't move on to day two unless I drink the gallon of water on day one. So uh, there was, so the movie theater was a massive challenge <laughs> and then um, drinking all my water has not been a challenge. It's just, I guess it has been a challenge. It just hasn't been terrible. It has been a challenge because you have to stay on top of it or else all of a sudden if it's like six o'clock and you still have a third of your water left, it's hard to get that water in. At least it is for me. And then if it's between 8 and 10 p.m. and I'm still having to like chug water, I am peeing all night. Like there's just no way around it. If I have like eight ounces left, I'm fine. But if there's like three or four glasses of water left, 
it's just not good. I'm up all night. So I've learned to try to drink half of it before noon. Um, I try to keep like 30 or so ounces around for my workout and try to chug it then. The best tip I've gotten with water is to drink 10 gulps every time you like grab your water, which I'm not doing right now because I'm just sipping with you guys. If you have a hard time getting your water, there are drops at the um, grocery store. Just look for ones that are stevia sweetened, not sugar. Um, there's also like, I love frozen pineapple and mint. So there's things you can add to your water, but that's what I have right now. I have like cherry drops or whatever in my water. So it tastes like juice, but it's not. Um, the progress pictures have been hard. The reading has been fun. The workouts are wearing me out, like really wearing me out. It could be waking up at 520, but when I'm doing the two workouts, the two 45 minute workouts, um, I'm finding I'm exhausted at the end of the night and it could be, you know, detoxing from sweets and things like that. Um, because this is just the first week of the program, but I have been so so tired. I will say that um, my clothes feel good. Like this is one of those shirts that I was going to get rid of because it was getting too tight and I put it on today and I was like, this feels good. Like I'm not bulging out of this shirt. It feels good. And um, that's an awesome win. The other thing I want to say is after a week of doing this is I feel mentally clear. I don't have any cravings for coffee, even though I'm still having pre-workout, which has caffeine in it. I am happy, like really happy. I feel content. I don't have cravings for junk. Um, I'm not feeling tempted either. And I'm going places prepared. So because I know that I can't cheat, uh, I'm making sure I have things with me. So even though I brought the grossest things to the movie theater that day. I came prepared. And so I've got protein bars and uh, just things ready to go. And if I know I'm going to be gone out of the house for a while, I'm making sure to bring those things with me. If we're going to restaurants, I'm checking the menu ahead of time. So it's just, it's being really helpful. I'm not sure if I'm going to do these videos every week or maybe every couple weeks, but I'm definitely going to bring you guys along on the journey. Um, maybe I'll do like a, like, follow me one day kind of video. Um, I have seen that Andy has a phase one, a phase two, and a phase three challenge of 75 hard. So after this, I've seen some girls do uh, 75 again, um, or they move on to phase one. So we'll see. Um, if you want to join me and be part of this, you can definitely comment down below or email me. Um, it doesn't cost anything to do 75 hard, but if you want to join me with the workouts and the nutrition plan and have me as your coach, you definitely email me and we can chat more about it. I'm ecstatic. I feel amazing. So I just had to do a video and share with you guys about the journey because it's been a good one. So thanks for taking the time to hang out with me and to watch. I'll definitely do an update soon and I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys.